What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Brian Noonan here. I got a great video for today. We're going to be going over um, what the three most important things that have almost 10x my sales. Before I learned these three things, I was launching products and not seeing much success selling on Amazon. I was going in too competitive of markets. I was trying to focus on too many different categories or niches. I'd find a product that looked good over here and launch that. And then I'd find another product over here and try to launch that. And I just wasn't getting much traction. But these three things were complete game changers and that allowed me to 10x my Amazon sales and make so much more profits and be way more successful. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you what are those three things for those of you out there who maybe have already launched a product or are getting ready to launch a product, what are those three things that you should know? So welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Brian Noonan. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller and mentor. Right here on this channel, I release one to two new videos every single week covering everything Amazon FBA related. If you like learning about Amazon, selling on Amazon or e-commerce, Make sure you go down and subscribe and like this video and drop a comment. I choose two lucky winners every single video to win 30-minute mentorship calls with me. And believe me, we can get a lot done on a 30-minute call. My job right here on this channel is to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible. I went from a drug addict all the way to a six-figure full-time Amazon FBA seller. Without any other delays, let's go ahead and jump onto my computer here or inside my computer and share my screen so I can share with you what are these three things. Make sure you have a notepad ready. These ones are gonna be good. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your friend. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, I'm excited for this one. Had I come across a video like this uh, when I was first starting out with Amazon FBA, I think it could have been an absolute game changer. Um, I've shared what my first product selling on Amazon was. I've gone on to launch eight uh, FBA products. Six of them are selling the best, but I shared on my channel what that first product was. It was a baby product, and it was just really, really um, competitive. I'm sort of biased now towards the baby category. I won't ever launch another product in baby. I think it's too competitive, sort of like pet supplies and uh, electronics and cell phone accessories. But uh, from that first product, I didn't differentiate well enough. I thought I could just come in, not of a copycat, or not just like a copy and paste product, same as everyone else, is sort of what I did. I didn't differentiate my product well enough. I did come up with a clever brand name, but that simply was enough or a lower price. That wasn't enough. And so I did eventually make all my money back or roughly broke even, um, but it didn't take off like I expected. And that's okay, guys. You realize that you may not make your $10,000 uh, your, your $10, that you're wanting to make your very first month. Even if you can launch a product successfully, learn the entire Amazon FBA process, you gain so much knowledge and insights once you know the FBA process on what it takes to source products, brand products, ship products, launch products, and, and rank products, uh, and run PPC ads, that that knowledge is almost priceless. So we're going to be going through here in this video the three most important things that I learned that 10x my Amazon business. Once I learned these three things, I went from making, you know, barely breaking even to making several thousand dollars per product per month in profits, okay? So uh, just to wrap up that point, guys, don't feel like it's a failure if you only make a couple thousand in profit your very first month. I know for me, when I first got started, I only wanted to make around $2,500 to $3,000 extra per month in profit because that's what I was making as a, uh, or less than that, as a banquet manager, server, and bartender, and I thought if I could just launch a product or two and make at least you know around three thousand uh, profit or more per month, I'd be able to leave my job. So that didn't happen with my first FBA product, but I was able to quit my job. I had just launched my third product, I believe. My second product did much much better and made some profits, and then by my third product, I had just launched it and I saw it just take off and I was able to quit my job. So keep pushing forward, guys. If you are out there in the product research phase, uh, these tips are gonna really, really help you guys. Um, I wish I would've come across a video like this myself. Okay, number one, guys, is picking a product with low to medium competition, enough demand, that will be easy to rank to page one on. This is a really overlooked factor uh, during the product research phase, which is the most important phase. You think that you've come across a product that looks good 
And even if the sellers have low reviews or may have a lot of reviews on page one, you need to make sure that you know the top keywords and see what the top keywords are. How much search volume do they have? Uh, how many other competing products are there for those keywords? And so that's where keywords are really, really important is you need to know uh, which keywords you're gonna have to try to rank for because if your product's main keyword has, um, you know, like 100,000 or 60,000 searches per month, that's enough demand, uh, but that's gonna be a lot of competition. And you can see with Cerebro how many competing products there are for that keyword. So make sure you guys are you know, validating you're looking at the right keyword, but most importantly, picking a product that has enough demand, has low to medium competition, but will be easy for you to rank to page one on. What would be hard to rank to page one on? What type of product would be hard to rank to page one? That would be a product where you run X-Ray like here and you see that all the review counts are like over 500. If the majority of the sellers on page one all have over 500 reviews, it's gonna be extremely, extremely difficult for you to try to launch your product and rank to page one with under 100 reviews, which you'll have the first few months. We can only get about 30 reviews a month. And so you wanna see just like this where you have a uh, lower review count, 63 doing 4,500, uh, 127 doing 7,000, 39 doing 4,300, 196 doing 15,000. That's why we're looking for like half of them to have like 150 review count or less. If you wanted to go more into product research and uh, my checklist is down below in the video description where you can pick up that uh, product research checklist and I'll have all of these points laid out for you to make sure your product meets that criteria. And also down there, there's some PPC um, documents that will help you with PPC and kind of what campaigns I run for launch. So make sure to check those out, as well as if you don't have Helium 10, uh, which I'm showing here, X-Ray, or talking about Cerebro for keyword research, uh, go ahead and pick up X-Ray. You will need some product research software to do product research, keyword research, and it's just the best all around software uh, as an Amazon FBA seller, the best value for your money. So that's tip one, guys. Medium to low competition, but easy to rank for. Also, understand that you, if you're getting by with trying to launch a product and your budget is $2,000, yes, you can start Amazon FBA and launch a product for $2,000. However, I would recommend that you have, if you wanna launch a product that's $2,000, I would recommend that you have at least $4,000 or can get $4,000 over the next few months, you know, four months or so, because you need to have like two times your initial investments budget available for that reorder. So if you start off with ordering 250 units, it comes out to $2,000, you send it into Amazon, the product starts selling really well, you need to place a reorder and you will not have been paid by Amazon yet. You do get paid or we do get paid by Amazon every two weeks. But as a new seller and launching a new product, Amazon holds some of your balance and it just takes a while to get things going. You know, month one is all about launching and ranking and so it can get expensive. And so be prepared if you're gonna launch a product and you only have $2,000 and um, it's gonna be a while, like six months or more before you have another 2,000, that's where you can run into a little bit of an issue because you're gonna run out of stock. Now it's okay, and that's the next point here is do not run out of stock. It's okay if you run out of stock for, let's say, 10 days, you know, 14 days or less, two weeks. But if you're out of stock for more than like four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, uh, it's going to be really, really hard. You essentially have to relaunch the product and uh, it can be extremely difficult. Once your product's BSR goes up high and gets to page seven or eight, it's hard to relaunch a product and get it back to page one. Uh, ranked and selling well. So uh, that's just a huge tip, guys. I didn't realize that, that mentality. I was thinking, okay, I, I can just save $2,000. You usually have to pay like a 30% deposit to start production, and then the supplier will start producing your product, and then the other 70% is due after, you know, like four weeks after production. But just be prepared to have to come up with uh, another 2000 to sustain your business and you may not have recouped that first 2000 yet, okay? Not in all cases. Sometimes if, you're, if your profit margins are huge, like 40% or greater, uh, you may have already got most of that money back. So it just depends, but just be prepared uh, with your budget, okay? So you don't run out of stock that you can reorder. Number two, guys, this is probably the single most important thing 
um, after choosing the right product that's not too competitive and has enough demand and that'll be easy to rank for. I'm, I'm kind of like throwing multiple important factors into each one of these numbers, but I tried to simplify it down to like my top three recommendations that I've seen work for me and my most successful students. So uh, number two is differentiation. Please don't fall into the trap of thinking all these other sellers are selling this exact product. I can come in and put my brand name on the product, send it into Amazon with better packaging and it'll sell. It just rarely works out like that. You just have to go above and beyond differentiating, offering a bundle, uh, branding the product, and most importantly, solving problems. By reading the negative reviews of the top sellers of that product, what are customers complaining about over and over and over and over, and then it's simply going to the supplier, listing out all of these issues and some solutions and seeing if the supplier can't fix those issues. Does that make sense? And a lot of the times, let's say there's five or six different things that you've done your research with the reviews, negative reviews, the one, two, and three star reviews, and you found like five of the top issues. Even if the supplier can't address and fix all of those, even if they can fix like two or three of them, you'll have a much better product and a much higher uh, chance when you launch your product and come to the market to start making sales right away because you're coming in with a better product. You can highlight those features, additional um, problems you've solved with your product in your photos, which we're going to talk about here in a minute. So differentiation, offering a bundle, adding value, giving the reason, giving the customer a reason to choose your product over all the others. Don't fall into the trap of thinking you can just put your brand name on a product, send it into Amazon, and you'll make sales like everyone else. That rarely works. Uh, my most successful students and my most successful products are products that um, we went out of our way to customize the product and make it our own and solved problems. Okay, guys? And then number three, guys, is uh, a couple different things in here, but you've probably been aware of these. Um, excellent packaging. So not all products will require custom packaging, a nice fancy box, but if your competitors have a nice box or if it makes sense for the product, like a beauty care product, absolutely you should have a custom box or a pet supply product, you should have a custom box. And some home decor products and home and kitchen products, a nice, nice custom box um, that speaks to your target uh, customer or audience can really, really help increase sales. And then with that custom box or packaging that you have designed from Person on Fiverr, uh, have them do an insert card that has your logo on it, a request for a review, a little ba backstory about your um, business, how to leave a review, a quick three-step how to leave a review, and then uh, uh, your Facebook business page link, okay, so they can find you on Facebook. You should go and uh, create a Facebook page and an Instagram page or at least a Facebook business page for your brand, okay? And then the next one, guys, is photos. Photos are the single most important thing. Uh, with the listing. Your your product listing, guys, um, is is like your storefront. Like we don't get to interact with our customers selling on Amazon. So our listing has to interact and sell our product for us since we can't be there in person talking to that customer. Does that make sense? And so you want your listing to really highlight your product, show the customer why they should buy your product not just this, the main selling features and benefits and that you have a lower price and a coupon, all that stuff helps. But you wanna persuade the customer to come into your store and buy your product over all the others and how it adds value to their life. So I wanted to show you guys two examples here of a couple different products. One is doing really well. This one here, this brand is Mitback. Uh, they've got their logo on the product, which I always recommend. Let's just, uh, I want to show you a quick example here of how much difference um, good photos and listing can make. This one recently launched, 12 reviews. It's making almost $3,000 a month, um, which is not bad. You can scale this up. It's got a four-star rating, but you can really see they did an excellent job with their photos and their their text uh, is good. Their graphic overlays are good. Simple, clean, modern looking photos. Not The text could be a little larger here. Um, you want your text to be as large as possible so customers can see it. And then this isn't uh, the absolute best because it's also kind of too small, but um, excellent photos overall. Helium 10 is giving it an 8.75. This evaluation is from Helium 10 kind of saying, how good is this listing? But they have a well-optimized listing here, a good title. It's well written out, uh, which is an, another part of my uh, 
uh, tip number three is have a picture perfect, awesome photos and your listing well optimized. Now I wanted to compare that guys with this product's photos. This one's only making a couple hundred dollars per month. So it's not doing very well. And let's take a look at their photos. So right here, you can see like this text is barely readable. The product doesn't take up the majority of the space. It's kind of over here to the left. And then this graph does nothing, nothing really for me. It doesn't appeal me to buy this product. It has light colors, drinking temp and operation. Operating, not even like how to operate, it just says operating. So not the best photo there. Another one here, this does nothing to help me persuade me to buy this product. Rate of cooling, rate of cooling. Um, what does that mean? That means nothing. I, I mean, yes, you're buying this product to keep your drink warm, but these graphs do nothing to help me buy the product or want me to buy the product. This picture is okay. Um, this one's too busy, way too much illustrations and stuff going on here. And I don't know, like the, the picture of the product is not even uh, in this photo. <laughs> so that's a, an example there. This picture is okay. And this one's okay. It's really highlighting the coffee mug versus the actual warmer. Does that make, it's just like the, the coffee mugs look really nice, but the warmer is not really highlighted. It blends in with that desk. It doesn't stand out. Same thing there. So guys, um, that's going to wrap up this video going over that my three most important um, things that 10x my sales. Once I learned these things, things really took off for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. Take these tips and implement them into your own Amazon business and I know you'll be rewarded. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.